I'm turning down uh, the plate, the back plate to fit this uh, Sanu truck, 100 millimeter. I have a uh, bigger also, but I think this is big enough. And this is like, um, you see here with this hole, so indexing, I guess. Just bought it like this from RGG. So um, we'll see, I'll use the ELS for this, I think. And I have a, bought another one of these and then fitted. This is a three millimeter one, which I think uh, that, that should be okay. Now I've taken a different strategy I've, uh, than usual. I've uh, engaged the back gear, as you can hear. It's a very slow speed. It's an This is a three millimeter grooving tool. Uh, yeah, functions. Could probably have double the speed now. This is a, no, it's not warm. Nothing is warm here. So uh, I was doing a 10 million and uh, the full width there, three millimeter. I could have, of course, done it completely different with just faster and uh, not three full three millimeter, but uh, this is just testing anyway. So uh, and uh, cutting out the ELS, I can still use still use this without any trouble. Uh, I have it connected, so there is this resistance in the steps in the stepper motor, but apart from that, it's okay. I of course can turn it a bit manual also, so having uh, met my zero here, I set zero at the scale here, I have a 2mm lead, lead screw so I, and, two mm, and the Mifer dial, so I, I should take off 4 now, so I do 2 turns. Yeah, still have two uh, point five millimeters to go. So only five hundreds oversize. I have to take it very careful then. Two five. So I'm taking. Uh, this is graduated in um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll have one more. And a uh, little bit less than perfect, but at least then it fits, and then I will dial that in um, uh, later. I mean, uh, I guess I'll have to make some sort of uh, indexing. You can use the screw back here, you know, the screw that... Um, use that screw over there, this one. And then um, connect an arm that moves like to and from there. Some, some sort of detent, uh, spring-loaded. Uh, Probably plus the ability to to lock it in place. 
Hmm. And of course, uh, having the same setup with speeds, I can still then use the ELS on, just cut off the axis here and then use it manually, as I said. Also with um, disconnected, um, the lead screw, I can use the hand wheel at the side here to face in, to turn. I just set the depth, so to speak, and then I go with the hand wheel in. Instead of moving the, this axis. And the ELS, of course, then allows you full freedom to disconnect, as I said, and then if you want to connect it again, let's just connect the ELS again here with the, these two buttons, and then uh, you have full freedom again. And of course, all my food owners then appreciate. I mean, clutch is nice, uh, the belt plus the gearing. The ability to lock the spindle, everything like this is is nice. So uh, first I'll just undo the um, the back gearing. Like that. Then the spindle is there. Loose and then I can engage the lock. Now, there are two indents. So Okay, <laughs> and I like this tool to uh, undo the truck then. So you just wrap this around, like an oil filter removal tool I guess it is. And you need a care. Okay, the other way around, of course. Oh. And then, like this. Okay. A little bit of persuasion. So, there we have it. So, ready mounted. I clocked in like uh, two, let's see, we have one within two hundredths of a millimeter. Might be that this is somewhat out, and it might be that I can do the truck better, but uh, at least that sort of will do for now, I guess. Maybe it's even better. Maybe it's within one.